what is going on everyone welcome back to another team lead video and today i will be doing a mathmatic tech profile this is a tech that pretty much came from the bottom starting out as a very weird and gimmicky otk machine by using sigma which is a really powerful boss master but we have gone past the days of needing that card but you can still play it in this deck if you want to i do not um we have also gotten diameter in terms of support we got diameter which we which we thought was going to be good and it did help a little bit but not nearly enough as it needed to and then we got smathmic circular which is by far an, a, a custom card bought to life because its effect to just foolish for cost just makes ash so useless because it allows this deck to come it allows this card to combo with itself so yeah um cyberstorm access came out with some new cyber squads which are good in a gimmicky type of way but if you don't want to play um the normal math mech line uh you don't really have to because these cards they do provide some good benefits so which is what i'm playing because there is a much more competitive version of this deck but this is um like this is just a more fun like what like a different type of deck it's you can still play it at your locals you could probably push at regionals but yeah uh so this will be the deck profile for that and with that out of the way remember guys if you do like the video please hit like please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you know when whenever we upload new videos and please comment this is a cyber deck there is so much cyber support so you give suggestions on what i could add what i could take out and all that stuff so yeah, with that, let us start. Oops, spoiler. All right, so the first thing we do, we play three circular, the lifeblood of this deck. And saying that this card is good is the definition of an understatement. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it foolishes for cost, which is great because it means that it doesn't, like Ash doesn't do anything for this card summon condition. Then the next, part is that it gets us mathematic spell trap so basically this it kind of combos with itself because it gets the spell trap if another mathematic is summoned while it's on the field and the card that you are sending for this card summon uh you are sending sigma the reason you send sigma is because sigma summons itself if there's no monster in the extra monster zone it can summon itself from your hand or the graveyard so this is the card so basically you activate circular you dump sigma sigma comes onto the field and then circular searches a spell trap voila it's so so good and then we play the extenders i played three subtraction and three addition now i do need to profess this by saying that the extenders you don't have to play three of them this deck is so nice that you don't have to play three i just play the extenders because i just always want to see monsters because I want to see how far I can push this deck and then I can start stripping back by taking out some extenders. But right now I'm just playing 3-3. Three, three. You can play 2-2, two, two, that's completely fine. That was actually the first draft I had of this deck, just playing 2-2. Two, two. So yeah, uh, this is just for having more bodies. Um, I will show in the combo video about like why I play so many of these bodies and why I have so many extenders. But uh, yeah. And then the other card is we play double Mathmic Diameter. So in this case, in this build, I do not play Firewall Defensor. You absolutely can. The reason I don't play it is just because my Diameter becomes my normal summon. I've, I've made the deck in such a way that Diameter is my normal summon. So having that, I don't really need Firewall Defensor because this card is endlessly searchable. But you are more than welcome to. I will probably do a deck profile later in May with the Firewall stuff. And then um, if I'm happy with it, and then I'll just bring, I'll bring that video to you guys. But yes, right now... These are all the mathematic cards we are playing. Uh, I, I, I I like these ratios. Because so much of the mathematics is just extenders, if you draw them, it's not really bricks because you can just always just summon them from your hand just like that like with no problem. The deck has one normal summon, which is perfect in this case, which is just diameter. So yeah. And then for the other extenders, play three parallel Xyz, which is pretty crucial for one of our combos that I'll show in the combo video. So we play three parallel Xyz. Really good card. Uh, the fact that it doesn't lock you is really nice. And then I just play one backup secretary. Ironically enough, this card 
it could be any it could be anything else it could be another extender if you want it to be it can be another it can be a hand trap if you want it to be it doesn't really matter i looked at it because just in, if i just have it in my hand i can just plop it on the field to generate bodies because that's the thing with this deck you just always need bodies on the field to do whatever you want so i just use my custom secretary but i think a good alternative would be uh link infra flyer because it's a wind cybers which basically means that you can use small world as and use that as a bridge to get your other cybers monsters besides parallaxies obviously but yeah and then moving on to the spells uh three sunnet mining because you are playing a cybers deck so there's no reason to not play sunnet mining and then the double small world you can play three small world i just think that two is okay i do think that two is okay um the yeah because like like in other cases you can pretty much use your backup secretary as the link to all of the non-light cybers cards so basically small world is basically to get your extenders in this deck right because you can use uh you can get addition subtraction or uh parallel exceeds if you use backup secretary as your bridge in the deck so i think that's pretty good and then for the final for the math mix fellow traps i play one equation and one uh and one super factorial equation is just again for another body on the field uh you always search this you always search super factorial with um what do you call this card now with math mix circular you'll always search this because this gives you the best follow-up in terms of your opponent's turn a follow-up interruption so yeah these are pretty much all of the math mech cards and then this section is just hand traps because this deck because this deck's engine is so small it's about 25 cards i believe you can pretty much just play like hand traps in this case which i'm i'm playing triple draw because we are in a format where people are just consistently searching without a care in the world so draw is just really really good for that play triple vela which you can obviously swap out, it just depends on your own tournament, it's just that in my locals, Vela is pretty good. So, yeah, um, people can play Ghost Ball and all that stuff, but like Vela is like one of the bigger flex spots. Uh, because that one differs from more tourna like tournament to tournament. Play through Nibiru, because people don't really respect Nib these days, and I am easily one of those people. I also don't really respect Nib. But yeah, I mean, if you can pull it off, you can pull it off. But another a thing to keep note of is that if you summon a Biru during your turn, you cannot go into Transcode Talker. People tend to forget that. So just a reminder about that. And then here, Triple, uh, triple Ash, which is still very good because Branded has become popular again. So you can just Ash the Mana Fusion. It, it is, it's the best Ash target there is. And then Triple Imperm because Imperm will be good in every single format. So that's pretty much from the main uh, the main deck right now and yeah these hand traps obviously it'll depend from your from locals to locals so yeah just adjust as needed but yeah this is the deck and now we can move on to the extra deck and with the extra deck we play for the normal for the normal cyber stuff i play one link Karibo because it is a link one that I can just summon off of a Parallax Seas or if I have Parallax Seas in my hand and another Cybers, I can summon Link Karibo with one Cybers and then just trigger Parallax Seas. I have Cybers Wicked which I think is one of the strongest Link 2s this game has. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect and monsters it points to cannot be de destroyed by card effects at all which I think is just genuinely good. And then I play double Splash Mage. I play double Splash Mage. The first one is for your combo. The second one is if you want to go into access code in your following turn. You don't have to play two. There are other there are other ways to build this deck. Is that right now, with what I've been testing, I've seen that I tend to need Splash Mage a lot. So yes, and then I play Update Jammer just for the OTK potential. Uh, for the OTK potential uh, in turn three, and then I play one. Uh, decode talker heat soul and one transcode talker one transcode talker and i do think that transcode is the best link three decode is also good because i mean a draw is always good but i think transcode is the best one because it summons any link 
three or lower cybers from the graveyard and that is just so good because it enables us to climb higher so yeah so these three car um so like these as a cybers package this is pretty much standard in this deck i do think that everyone should be playing a cybers wicked but yeah so these are the cybers uh normal combo lines that you pretty much go through and then for the end for the end bosses for the end bosses of the cybers line uh i play an x it's i play one access code one firewall dragon dark fluid uh neo tempest terahertz and one singularity okay so access code is pretty much needed uh that's a given Terahertz is a nice addition to the deck because it allows you to foolish burial any cybers monster from your deck or extra deck to the grave and you have some really nice foolish targets from the extra deck because they allow for interruptions and then singularity is just a really nice card i mean it's obviously like not needed it is it is a link six not really needed but it's a very nice card that if you summon it it can it becomes a bounce equal to the amount of different types of monsters you have in the grave so basically if you have a fusion and an xyz you have a double bounce so it's just like a really nice card to do that and if a card and it, and it reborns any link monster from the grave or any cyber link monster from the grave if a card it points to leaves the field and you'll see as part of the combo video that you pretty much proc that effect every time you go through this combo so yes, so these three, these are your big powerhouses. You can go for game, access code is game on its own. You can use these two to go for game because this will gain 2,500 for each um, monster it sends to the grave. And also gain 500 for each monster it, bounce, it bounces back. So they, like, they're just really good at pushing for game. And then for the terahertz targets, uh, Cybers uh, Deserworm, and Demurologic Aggregator are the foolish targets for Terahertz. Uh, the fusion in the grave, I can banish it and negate a spell or trap if I have a link for a higher monster in the grave, which is perfect because now the deck just has on top of um, its board presence and now I just have a, a spare spell trap negate in the grave. And then Aggregator is able to negate one card on the field without destroying it, which is a pretty good uh, which is a pretty good effect because right now super heavy is pretty prevalent so when they place the prodigy in the pendulum zone i can activate terahertz to send this to negate the aggregator comp like so like to i can send aggregator to negate the prodigy immediately because it doesn't destroy so the card just stays on the field without effect which basically kind of just kills a super heavy sam uh super heavy sam's starting abilities so yeah these are two very good foolish targets and they are just really fun the fact that i, I never thought i'd be playing a rank nine in this deck but now because terrorists are so easy to summon it's like why not and then for the math neck package uh double uh double alambertian and laplacian this is pretty much standard for any math mech uh mini trishula and just a search so these cards are obviously good you will go through the first one in your normal combo your second one you can use as follow-up to go for extension basically because if you if you can make if you can make uh, if you can make this uh alan Bush in your turn three you can just go into access code again so this is just a very nice way to uh always just be able to push for game so yeah i do hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did, please like, subscribe, tell me what I can take out and what I can't in the comments or what I should add and what combos I should do and all that stuff. Remember, this is not like the most meta competitive deck. If you wanted to make it meta competitive, you take out the singularity and you can put in a second access code. Um, you can take out, you can even take out the terahertz and then just put in something more like an IP mascarina if you want. You can put in an Avramax if you want to protect your monsters. The deck, the end board of the deck is really customizable. You can even add Apple Loser to summon during your opponent's turn if you want. But I just wanted to keep it really cybers, which is why I'm playing it this way. But Apple Loser, uh, Avramax, another Axis Code, those are all viable options for this deck. I just didn't want to play them in this build. Maybe at the end of May, I will probably do like another build that is proper competitive, including the... Um, the firewall cards that came in cyberstorm access so then you can just assign it conflict because that's also another really good card in its own but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video and please uh 
If you have any comments, I would love to see them and I will catch you on the next one. This is Team Lid signing out. Peace.